What's going on guys? It's Big Pasta 92 and we're here today going over an older farm. It's a little bit of a TBC revised video on an older farm for the Blade of Eternal Darkness. Now, if you're not sure what the Blade of Eternal Darkness is, it's a dagger that drops off the princess in Moradon from Vanilla Classic WoW. And what it does is there's a chance on spell hit to give you 100 mana back at the cost of 100 life. Now, that's super, super helpful when we're trying to do a lot of these boosts because mana becomes an issue, as you know, and especially some of the TBC boosts, the Black Mirage farm uh, specifically at least in my opinion it becomes one of the most helpful items you can have going forward so we're gonna go over a really quick start to finish guide on how to get this blade from Moradon fast really really fast guys the fastest I've ever seen it done since TV you know, since TBC came out it's super super easy so if you've never even done this before this is the video for you if you guys enjoy it make sure to like subscribe and comment also hit me on twitch twitch.tv forward slash big pasta 92 I'm probably live right now so stop by and say hi all right so basically we start here at Nigel's point if you're on Alliance if you're on horde obviously you go to your next closest horde flight path whichever one that is and you go right down here to this little in cave right to the right of the valley of spears that's where you're going to find Mardon. okay so from here what we're going to do is we're obviously going to continue on our mount we're going to go up and around through this little archway right so here's all the uh you know the goat guys and they're very very low level you're not going to have to worry about them what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to show you exactly how quick from entrance to kill to reset it's going to be for you to get these off now this strategy includes a second account, something I understand most people don't have. I sincerely stress that if you're trying to do this, you get one because $15 a month will actually save you so much time and frustration when you're trying to do this farm. Even if you never level a tune on it, it's probably worth the $15 for the one time buy. Also, there's numerous uses for having two accounts. So there's really, uh, it's it's something to think about. Uh, you don't need to, but it's gonna make your, your resets a lot longer. Also, definitely necessary for this is the Scepter of Celebrus, the quest item, uh, also from Vanilla Classic WoW. You're gonna wanna do the Scepter quest. If you haven't done that yet, it's basically soloable with any 70. You can just go into Moradon and crank it out. It's really, really easy and it saves you so much some, so much time it's unbelievable so once you approach the gates of Moradon you're gonna go straight in drop down to the left of this bridge you're gonna see more of these little ghostly raider cow guys don't worry about them cut through and drop down that little impasse there and then you're gonna keep walking past these guys these guys literally of no consequence if they aggro don't worry about it pop an invisibility do anything you drop down over that staircase and right here this doorway between the purple entrance and the orange entrance you're just going to go straight through there and cut left down the ramp now what's down here is the portal room that you're going to need that scepter of celebrest for and what it does is it basically puts you two minutes out from the princess as opposed to if you're going in any of the other entrances of moradon you're going to have a really hard time getting back so the scepter of celebrest Easy quest item to get. If you're in combat, obviously you can't use it. One of the centaurs clearly had me messed up there. So you get out of combat. Yep, there he is. That's the guy who caused all the trouble. You get out of combat, come over and you can use your staff. Apparently I'm still in combat here, so it's a little bit buggy sometimes. But yeah, use the staff and you are all set. You go in the portal and here you are. So I already ran this. Um, so I'm just gonna display how to do the logout real quick, right? I just ran this. I've killed the princess probably four times. This is my last lockout when I'm recording the video. So just to show you where you're gonna show up on that lockout. Now that's assuming this will send you to your hearth if you have no more lockouts left. So be careful not to reset if it's your last lockout because it'll send you all the way back to wherever your hearth is. So uh, if you still have a lockout left to give and you log out in that spot, it's gonna put you right back in a fresh instance where the scepter spawned you which is ideal because when you're cranking out these resets, you're starting there two minutes out from the princess every single time you log out and reset. So big pasta logs out, we reset instances, switch back over. Thank you for the, our little gnome assistant for the help. And we're back in. So you're gonna see that I am all the way over from where I logged out. It's a completely new instance. The one I joined before the boss was dead. Now this is a fresh one. So the way to get to the princess is super, super easy. There's really only one entrance here unless you're going swimming. You just go straight through this little cavern with the hydras. It's pretty clear cut. You go around the hydras and uh, I suggest you have Zanzas. Zanzas are not necessary for this at all because you're just killing one mob. It's a luxury. If you don't have Revered with the Zandalar tribe, you can do it very, very easily by buying Bijus off the auction house. They're super, super cheap. You can do it for less than 100 gold and the Zanzas are going to be one of the most helpful items that you can have uh, just doing any AoE farm really any leveling any boosting any anything the zanzas are extremely helpful so if you have zanzas they're extremely inexpensive use them it'll save you a couple minutes running back and forth if not 
add 20% to the walk time, it's really not that big of a deal. As long as you have the scepter and you have the second account, this is still going to work really, really well for you. So keep walking around all these Demetrodons. None of this stuff is going to aggro as long as you're level 70. You can still do this at level 60. It's just a little bit more complicated, obviously. But people have been farming this dagger for a very, very long time. Only now has it been so quick. So if we're doing the math, this is going to end up, I'm going to be at the princess around two minutes. Two minutes at the princess, 17 second kill time, give or take. Two minutes and 20 seconds, log out, 20 seconds. It's about two minutes and 40 seconds. You reset, you log back in, call it three minutes. Three times five lockouts, that's 15 minutes, guys. You're getting all five of your shots at that dagger in 15 minutes, and then go do a battle round. Go quest. You can't farm any instances, which is unfortunate. You can't do your heroics. You used all your lockouts, but you can level professions. You can do a plethora of other things for 45 minutes. And then at the beginning of the next hour, all those lockouts are going to be done. You can do the thing all over again. I highly suggest setting your Hearthstone to Nigel's point, as that'll cut down on travel time immensely as well. And people were spending, you know, thousands and thousands of kills in here and really dumping time in to get this item in Vanilla Classic. This is going to be a super easy item to acquire on mages, especially if you use this tactic. It's going to save you so much time. You can get so many shots at this boss. But that's the way you get down to her. Just walk through Mardon. I know Mardon can be a confusing instance, so start to finish that's how you get from outside the instance to the boss killer it's not very hard pop all your cooldowns she does have this little aoe ground stomp move you don't have to move from it i mean you can tank the hits if you want to you loot her and you're all set that's all there is to it guys two minutes and 20 seconds you can bang out all five of your lockouts in you know less than 15 minutes if you're quick enough and that's it you guys will have the dagger before you know it. you can do a bunch of other farms and it'll they'll be so much so much easier i'm gonna farm it on my big pasta mage and this little gnome mage as well over the next coming weeks in tbc i'll post uh, updated videos about that and if you guys have any other suggestions for new videos or questions leave them in the comments once again make sure to like and subscribe and hit me on twitch with that follow that's twitch.tv forward slash big pasta 92 Thanks again, guys. Bye.